to the Democratic Republic of Congo, where talks to resolve the country's political crisis are nearing their deadline. President Joseph Kabila's mandate expires on Monday the 19th, but a date for the next election has still not been decided, and the opposition is demanding he steps down. CCTV's Clementine Logan sent this update from the capital, Kinshasa. This is supposed to be the final day of discussions between the Congolese government and opposition mediated by the Catholic Church. But the major sticking point, which is when to hold the country's overdue elections, has still not been resolved. Time is running out and neither side appears optimistic that a solution can be reached. Let's rely on the Electoral Commission. They are technicians. They will tell us and we shall decide according to what is possible. They don't want to change the position. They want Mr. Kabila to stay in power without any concession, no concession. We are saying the term of Mr. Kabila has come to an end. And then let's agree, let us agree how we will run the country from the December 20th. They are buying time, reinforcing themselves, they are forcing the uh, police everywhere. You can see the town. Everywhere you have soldiers, you have policemen. The 19th isn't a special date and we are not working with that time frame because after the 19th, if we haven't resolved the issue of the electoral process in an acceptable and lasting manner, these problems will persist. So we are working in a way that will normalize our democratic space. There's an air of apprehension here in the capital, Kinshasa, in anticipation of violent protests next week. Checkpoints have been set up at night across the city. And come midnight on Sunday, phone and internet services will be blocked. Clementine Logan, CCTV in Kinshasa.